Why were we not successful? Why have we had such a bumpy road? Chasing the biggest win of his mixed martial arts career here tonight as underdog. Darius a grinder. It's, uh, it's simple. You know, uh, he's, he's not a, a super technical stand-up fighter. Um, you know, he likes to get on top, uh, finish and win. Gareth's, Gareth's preparation has always been second to none. Um, we have a very high standard of training and methodology uh, and we really invest ourselves in our training. The thing is, with fighting, you know, winning and losing is out of control. And uh, that's not something we can govern or dictate. And uh, from a fight perspective, the performance went well. We just got caught unlucky, and that's what ended on that loss. Um, it was just one of those fights that a fight is a fight. So sometimes you, you walk in there and things just don't go your way. It wasn't that he wasn't ready. It's just something can happen in a fight. Uh, something happens wrong, and it just goes downhill from there. So. Yeah, that's quite funny. I mean, I don't think a lot of people see how much rehab goes into, into the body. I think everybody just sees the hard work in the gym. If his head is correct, then he performs well. If his head's not correct, he doesn't perform well. I think that's with a lot of athletes. You know, what you're seeing on TV is 15 minutes, or if it's a title fight, 25 minutes, and, and everybody cheers and yay, and it's amazing to see, and it's a great performance. I don't think people see what goes into it and what, what's spent and kind of hours that, have, that have, are put in, not only by myself, but the people around me. Uh, he's a tough boy. Um, he, he's got quite a few fights under him in Europe. Uh, he's from Italy, so he's been on the European circuit. He comes from a decent camp in Europe. Um, I think it's one of the best in, in Italy. Uh, we've already fought one of their guys and beaten them. Um, yeah, he's, he's got, um, he understands his distance very well. He's also very similar to Gareth. He likes to grind his opponents. He likes to get on top of his opponents, take their back. So it's, it's actually quite a very similar fight between their styles. Um, so I just think it's whoever is better on the night and uh, whoever is prepared better. But uh, we're not overlooking him at all. Um, he's a grind, he's a tough guy. So, you know, Gary's ready to uh, have a three-round war. Mental preparation is a journey that's consistent on a daily basis. You know, we all have a singular focus or a singular objective as a team to move in a certain direction. When it comes to Gary's fights, we have to be very analytical in terms of what opponents that he... Uh, he's going to fight or comes up against in the UFC and we have to look at that and then also we need to start strategizing around that to get to maximize his performance and from that we need to look at uh, mental, emotional and physical cues that we need to give him um, constantly on a daily basis to reaffirm you know on a neuralistic pathways that uh, he actually psychologically s attaches to the objective that we're trying to accomplish and from there, you know, it's a constant game of ups and downs when it comes to confidence and self-belief in that type of stuff. Because some days, some days you feel great, some days you don't feel great. But the one thing, though, Gareth is probably one of the best athletes in the gym, and his training is generally very consistent um, with any top athlete out there, just pending on little nigglies and tweaks because our game is very physical. You know, there's always little injuries, things happening that we need to evolve and adapt around. But other than that, you know, myself and Rich, we always take some time out and we always talk about, you know, the things we would like Gareth to achieve and how we would like his game to be adapted to the challenge that lays ahead. Well, an injury is just that you can't really protect anyone from an injury. His knees, he's had operations on his knees before, um, but there's slight, slight just inflammation and stuff like that. So um, you just give him, he just takes stuff, he goes to the physio, he goes to the chiro, and they, they, they'll take care of him that way. So look, I mean, the, the, diet, the diet side of it is, is, is vitally important. I don't think people understand how important it is. It's, it comes down to fine art, it's a science. Um, what you put in is what you're going to get out, as the age old saying goes. Uh, Rory Diesel is an amazing guy, um, a guy with so much knowledge that he's developed over 10 years. Um, he makes sure this body is 100% is perfect. It gets fed in the right way so I can f perform optimally in every session. It, it's so difficult when you're putting the amount of hours that I am in to, to make sure that you are running at the right level. Uh, fatigue sets in, um, that's when injuries come. Uh, if the body's not fed well, uh, energy levels are low, decision making is poor. So we need to make sure that those are constantly at a high at all times. Um, 
he's really put a lot of work in going in this time. We've developed, we've developed the body the, the way we want. Um, we have, we, we had a plan, um, and we've executed, executed it incredibly. Um, he's on me a lot. I, I, I'm a, I, I can be a little bit lazy sometimes when it comes to the food, but he's there constantly to make sure that I'm, I'm, I'm feeding the body in the right way. He also handles my conditioning side. So he knows with the nourishment that I'm putting in, how hard he can push me in terms of conditioning my body and what my body should be like. So it's, it's a great match. Um, and he, he, he's become a very pivotal point, a, per, should I say, person in my, in my career. Yeah, well, uh, Gareth basically, like all the guys here, yeah, I give him whole foods. Not a lot of supplements. They will supplement after one or two sessions, but they eat whole foods. So anything that is not processed. So like in the morning, he'll wake up, he'll have a smoothie with some spinach, some berries, coconut, coconut oil, um, some peanut butter. And then after his training, he'll have some uh, like oat, oats with a certain mixture of foods and berries and seeds and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's about it, just whole foods. Eh? Not, nothing, fan, like, nothing, it's nothing fancy, it's just good old, old fashioned food. Um, this fight is make or break, I think, for both, both athletes in the fight. I think Alyssa is also in a place where he needs to win as well to make sure that his career goes further in the UFC. It was just a case of coming back and having a long, hard look at, look at what we were doing. Um, why were we not successful? Why have we had such a bumpy road? Um, it's been a difficult time for us um, in the UFC. But it's not that we can't do it. Um, we believe in ourselves 100%, uh, when we, as we did when we started the journey. It was just about making small changes. And uh, I think the biggest change we needed to do was something that we had already been doing all along. Just go back to basics. Be the soldier boy that, that I was in the beginning. Um, don't try and be something I'm not. Um, don't try and be too perfect. I find that when, I'm, when things run too smoothly, um, it becomes a little bit easy for me and I'm not as switched on as what I should be. Um, when it's difficult and tough and a bit chaotic, that's when I shine. And uh, we have made that camp that way. Um, I needed also to find a little bit more of the old me, you know, go back and look at myself and, and, and decide, wow, why did I start this? You know, what, what, what was it that, that one made me want to be so successful and, and got to me to where I am today? Um, I found that. There's a new hunger in me. Um, th there's a lot of fight in Soldier Boy. Um, there's a passion again for what I do. I think it's going to be interesting. I think there's, uh, there's a no-nonsense approach to what I'm doing. And I'm going to go in. No, make no, no mistake about it. I'm, I'm not there to be friends. I'm not there to, to put on a put on a show and, and be all soldier boy, I'm coming to win.